I miss the family I used to have. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a reset for Valorant, or attempting to. Um, if you can't tell, I'm still on the Mac. My computer's still down and out for the count. Uh, first things first, you obviously want to make sure you have the IQ Corsair pre er, preset. Corsair installed. Um, I'll have a link to the downloadable, downloadable for both Mac and Windows down in the description. Another thing, you want to make sure your devices are all hooked up, whether it's a wireless USB setup or a wired USB setup, like such as my keyboard. Either way, make sure they're on, they're powered on, and they're hooked in, because that's the only way this software will read that the devices are active. Another thing is to leave auto positioning on and Adobe uh, 7.1 surround sound on. Reason being, uh, this will tell you better what's part of the left side that they're on, whether they're more towards the front or more towards the back. If they're more towards the back, the back of the cup of the headset will be louder compared to the front, and that's how you'll know. Uh, and the surround sound just complements it, so that's why I leave it on. That's just my personal taste. If you don't like it on, switch to stereo. We're going to tickle your peach. But for right now, I'm going to leave it on. Another thing. Make sure the linked EQ sliders are clicked off. If they're clicked on, you'll have a lot of trouble. Reason being, if you adjust one of these motherfuckers, the next two will adjust. And we don't want that. We want to adjust them individually. So make sure that's off. It'll help you in the long run. Okay, now that I got all that out of the way, uh, like I said, I can't physically test these this uh, preset in particular. Reason being is because, well, I'll just show you. The Valorant people. Valorant download. Um, does not have it for Mac. And I'm on a Mac. So, yeah. You can't play it. And it doesn't look like they're going to be coming to Apple anytime soon, from what I read. Um, Mac users and Apple iOS themes, you access the whole host of amazing games. Valorant is one of these games, as despite Riot Games' iconic Le League of Legends being available to Mac users, you would think this game would be, but this game is not. Uh, so, um, just like, pick up myself. Um, yeah, I can't physically test it in the game, or else I would. If you want a test run, I can get onto another laptop possibly, see if that laptop runs it, and do a video of a test run of this preset. However, I'm just going to make it uh, and kind of go from there. You guys can download it, uh, have a downloadable link for this preset, and you guys can customize it the way you want. Anyways, onto here. So I'm going to be focusing on two things, footsteps, far, and close. And I'm also going to be focusing on ricocheting of bullets, gunfire, reloading, uh, anything that would make a magazine noise, uh, gun noise, a bullet going to the chamber, stuff like that. Um, so for bullets and high pitch sounds, we're going to be focusing from the 1K to the 16K. And for footsteps, we're going to be focusing on the 32, 64, 125. And those happy mediums are going to be the 250 and 500. Um, so the two mediums are probably going to be like whether they're like the next room over or probably about five to ten feet away from you and that's pushing it. Um, also to keep in mind the 1k, 2k, and 4k are for longer distance as well as higher uh, range noises and the lower range noises are going to be something that's going to be real quiet, real subtle and we're going to want to adjust this they're trying to sneak up, which most of the time they're trying to sneak around the map. You want those bastards up so you know where they're at. That said, uh, I think I'm going to start here first and work my way down. So, we are going to take the 2, 2k and we're going to bring it up just a hair bit, probably right about there. We use the 4k where it's at, take the 8k, move it there, take the 16k, put it right there, and probably leave the 1k up a little bit. Okay. Uh, so, this is going to be your high range setup for this preset that I'm going to be probably contacting. And the day one. Eh, give some more to the AK. Okay. 
So your 8K, 8K the 16K is going to be hearing the high pitch noises uh, or the high range frequency noises. So this will hear bullets switching, bullets being shot, etc. How this helps is if you have a, this higher, it's going to be more sensitive to the headset. So when he hears, for example, a gunshot being shot from a gun, your auto repositioning will determine where, what side it's on and if it's more towards the front or more towards the back. And that's why this is going to basically help you because you can determine, or better determine, on where they're being shot at, whether it's in front of you, whether it's behind you, whether it's still left or still right. As for the 4K, 4K range, you don't really hear that much. Um, you may hear like grenade pins, um, flash bangs, but it usually sits pretty well here with me. Now, if you have a harder time hearing, I would suggest adjusting this to up a little bit. I wouldn't put it any higher than probably right about there, but for me, I like to keep it at a comfort at the solid medium, zero dB. 2K, that's going to be your farther range for footsteps. 1K is also in the same ballpark. It's just closer to you, so it's not as distinct, or it's more distinct compared to the 2K. So that's why that's lower. 2K is going to be kind of like, I'd say probably around 5 to 10 feet away from you. 1K is like 4, 4, four to 8 feet, give or take. Um... So yeah, that's why these are adjusted as so. So now we move into the medium uh, range, which is 250 to 500. Um, I guess you could really consider 125 as a medium range too, to be honest. Um, and that kind of plays the borderline between lows and high, or med lows and mediums of the sound range spectrum. Um, so here i tend to leave these just up a little bit i just give them a little bit of bump not too much and then this i usually have up to here lows i have up to here and then i usually keep the 64 and 32 pretty much the similar to each other as best as i can so the 125 like i said plays border hopper essentially and it will play between the 250 and the 64 so lows and mids and so you have that happy medium. The 125 is where you're going to hear most noise, and that's why it's up compared to the rest of them. Now, when a enemy is closer to you, obviously you're going to hear the 32s and the 64 uh, lower ranges because they're trying to sneak around, be quiet. And if they know you're there, they're not going to try to make that much noise. So you boost these motherfuckers up, and they're going to be more distinct. Let's say they take a step, and they're like baby stepping. You'll hear them shuffle. And then you'll with the auto auto audio that's a tongue twister repositioning that they just added to this you'll be able to know what side whether you're facing that where they're coming at or if they're coming behind you that's another great thing about the adobe surround sound you can tell whether it's coming from the left or the right like i said these two will complement each other a lot in scenarios that you're playing whether it's siege war zone you name it it's going to complement it and that's basically this preset that i'm going to do uh, this is basically a baseline for Valorant. Uh, I'm was basically going into this video with uh, a, a very scenario like ID idea of what preset would kind of work with this game because, like I said, it's not like I can go in and do multiple test runs to get that perfect. Like, mm, that's the headset sound I want. So this is going to be more of less like a starting stone for something that you guys can download mess around with in a game or so and then get it to where you like um but yeah i hope this video helped sorry it took so long to get a video out for this game in particular but like i said i wasn't really planning on doing this video because i can't physically test run it but there's enough requests for it that i'm just gonna go ahead and do it and like i said later on if you want me to run a test run with this preset i'm more than happy to i'll have to get another computer involved obviously and kind of go from there With that said i hope this video helped leave a like if it did and i will see you guys next week for the next video peace